Perhaps one of the most commonly asked questions in embedded systems debugging is, how did I get here? MicroC Trace is a tool that helps you answer this question. Without any specialized debugging hardware, MicroC Trace is able to provide a highly detailed view of an RTOS-based application's history, helping you to identify problematic pieces of code and performance bottlenecks in a fraction of the time normally required for this sort of troubleshooting. Tracing, in general, is hardly a new concept in embedded systems, and many tools now offer the ability to view millions of instructions worth of trace data. These tools, though, tend to portray an embedded system's behavior strictly from a low-level perspective. They offer a list of previously executed instructions and leave it for the user to determine how these instructions correspond to various RTOS API calls and application-level events. MicroC Trace operates at a higher level. Having been tailored to MicRIM's MicroC OS 3 kernel, it can provide an execution history of every task in an application incorporating the kernel. The tool automatically records tasks use of a variety of kernel services, and it can easily be set up to likewise keep track of ISRs and application-specific events. In MicroC Trace's main view, a vertical timeline is used to depict the execution of the different parts of an application. This timeline is highly interactive. You can zoom in for a detailed picture of how tasks share the CPU and can click on tasks and events to access useful information on timing and dependencies. Accompanying the main view is a collection of different supporting views with additional data and alternate depictions of the information presented in the vertical timeline. There is, for example, a CPU load view that graphs changes in per task CPU usage over time. This view and many of its counterparts offer support for zooming, filtering, and returning to selected portions of the vertical timeline. Rather than being a replacement for conventional debuggers, MicroC Trace is intended to be run alongside such tools. It also makes an ideal partner for MicRIM's MicroC Probe, a unique tool that provides an intuitive, graphical means of reading and writing and running embedded systems variables. MicroC Probe is normally used by dragging and dropping graphical components such as gauges, switches, and charts to create data screens that function as a PC-based user interface for an embedded system. For systems configured to perform tracing, MicroC Probe offers a trigger component that provides a simple way to start and stop the recording of trace data and to upload the data to your PC. Much like MicroC Probe, MicroC Trace is a tool that straddles the line between your PC and your embedded target, but that relies primarily on the PC for processing power. To support MicroC Trace, you need little more on the embedded side than MicroC OS 3 and a buffer for holding trace data. The buffer size is up to you. And you'll find that even with a relatively small buffer, you can store an extensive trace history, since MicroC Trace typically represents an event using just four bytes. If you're ready to enhance your debugging efforts with a wealth of high-level RTOS-specific trace data, you should visit the MicroC Trace page on MicRIM's website. There, you'll find information to help you get started, along with a link for downloading an evaluation version of this incredibly helpful tool.